What is going on guys? Welcome to this video here today. My GTN Scouted Only Challenge in FIFA 19 career mode. Make sure to leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this. It's a bit of a long one. So yeah, come take a ride with me for this one. So yeah, at the start of the video here, just give the instructions, uh, which is pretty self-explanatory. We can only be signing players that we pick up with our scouts. We send them out to certain countries, set up the instructions as well as I'll show you through this. But at the start of the video, also I wanted to mention uh, Jared HD, a fellow Australian career mode YouTuber. Uh, massive inspiration for me with doing this series. I hope to do more of these. Make sure you get teams in the comments and a bit more as the video goes on. I'll explain uh, maybe towards the end anyway, uh, different ones we can do uh, in this challenge. But yeah, massive shout out to him. Just hit 250k subscribers. Yeah, so if you haven't subscribed to him, make sure you do. So uh, let's get straight into this now. These are our first recommended players from our scouts and Ruben Neves a lot of them I disregard that I get right away there not all suitable for the team but yeah Ruben Neves already one we get on the shortlist uh, we'll be looking towards signing him and of course this is going to be very very involved especially in this first season here uh, in the preseason very involved with transfers you're going to see that but hopefully I want to see your comments as well what you liked about this video and what you didn't like and for future ones because it is a bit of a bigger one so we just want to see uh, I want to see from you guys how you like to see these kind of uh, rebuild style videos as it will be similar to that so anyway we were taking a look at the team and Chelsea do have a pretty strong side but I do have my own areas that I want to improve and first off there uh, we want to be looking for a centre back we want to be looking for a centre back uh, that will be good in the first team first team quality uh, you'll see a few different positions here so what I wanted to do this for guys as well big reason I don't want to be using any uh, websites like so FIFA for Ted as well any <laughs> any like websites for checking players abilities and potentials I am not touching using the features in the game to scout and it's much more enjoyable this way as well I'll suggest uh, you guys to try it because yeah it's super fun uh, trying to do it that way opposed to being too negative about career mode actually use one of the features in the game and uh, so you see yeah the different countries now we are scouting uh, for the different instructions and I'm excited to see who we are gonna who they are gonna pick up for us and then we can really judge our options from there of course you can use your own knowledge in-game knowledge or real life knowledge as well on certain players whether it be their potential if you know they're a young player and they've got potential in real life as well you can definitely use your use your experience <laughs> your football knowledge so uh, we're going to be doing a lot of training you're not going to see all the sessions because I want to show as much as I can in these videos but it's still going to rack up a lot of minutes guys it's going to rack up a lot of minutes in the video so I do want to show you I always not feel bad but I, I want to try at least uh, to show you everything I play and everything I record so also another thing a lot of these games are going to be simulated but we'll get into that after transfers so as we mentioned uh, in the first crop of recommended players from the scouts uh, yeah Ruben Neves so he put an offer in there for 28 million uh, they look to be considering they look to be considering that so here we're just going to simulate one of the early pre-season matches we get a dominant win there for Neil good to see so yeah after some deliberation there they did accept that 28 million offer for Ruben Neves and Ruben Neves he's a very very good player in FIFA career mode specifically but he's a very good player on the ball and he's going to be comfortable as he gets better as a player as well he's going to be a very strong central midfielder and Willian is one of those players in the team he's a solid player but you see he is 29 years of age so he's not going to be improving so much as a player 
he's only going to be declining, especially once he hits 30. So I thought right now, best time to get some currency for him. You see there, 38 million was a very good time. So here you will notice we have got some of our potential players under the uh, full promising uh, promising players. There's Kempembe there, who is a very, very good center back. I told you how we were searching for those center backs. I want to, again, I want to show that in the video as well for you guys to see uh, the players I've scouted and yeah, the instructions and not that I'm actually <laughs> ending up searching for these players, <laughs> but no, yeah, yeah, the scouts having picked them up. Uh, Dembele as well under some of those players in the La Liga and wingers that we picked up. So he's not going to be cheap by any means, guys. So yeah, we have to, yeah, have to pay a hefty fee, but could by the end of this, could he be a hero? And obviously, yeah, we want to have Premier League dominance. We want to win the Premier League title and Champions League. There too, we want to do for sure. Hopefully along the way, win the FA Cup as well. Yeah, biggest cup competition. So uh, club, um, in domestic <laughs> cup competition. So we wanted to do that. So you see a couple of offers there as well. Not all of them I'll show you in terms of like the discussions. Uh, discussions like, like Van Ginkel as well. He's a bit of a... Uh, compared to William, yeah, not that same level. So, yeah, some of these guys will show you the end, the end results in terms of that. But David Louise, we wanted to go into uh, really for a similar reason. He's 31, so yeah, about 18 million there. He is definitely going to start to be on the decline, and you can really tell with the clubs that come in for a certain player. It's like West Ham, yeah, we are definitely better than West Ham. So. Here, in the centre-back, see, I just wanted to show you there, you could see all the options the scouts bring to us, and out of those, I definitely think Kimpembe is a star player, he's a standout at his age, his first team, no doubt he'll be first team, along with our other centre-backs, but he's only going to keep improving over the next couple seasons, so, yeah, uh, we did tie up that deal uh, next up or at least the transfer offer and then we have to go in and then they are happy with the contract and all of that discussion so yeah bringing him into the team and again we've got these loftus cheek uh drink water as well uh, again he was through some recent drama himself he didn't listen to his own name uh, yeah you listen to what your own <laughs> name was telling you danny drink water and you would have been all right mate <laughs> if you don't know google his name <laughs> and see the race and drama but anyway Jaden Sancho you may have been waiting for him uh, he came up in the scout so we had to get the report on him and it's like when I saw him I like I'm gonna go the process I'm gonna go through the process of scouting him but we know we know how good he is we know how good he is in FIFA but in real life uh, yeah killing it uh, he's really come onto the scene so Benjamin Henricks as well I thought we could utilize that versatility in defense more so as a fullback he could be a very good right back and yeah you'll see he'll slowly be introduced he's only like 76 overall right now uh, but another player we can uh, for his feet uh, we know he's only going to improve now Pedro Pedro uh, Spanish winger can play on both sides he's 30 now so you may be getting a bit of a sense of my style of rebuilding and rebuilding the squad that's that's what I try and do and uh, I really focus on that how I that's why I love to do in career mode I really love the squad building aspect of it so yeah I thought doing a series like this in this GTN only challenge GTN uh, scouted players uh, only challenge that's what I wanted to bring towards so uh, yeah, how we improve the team over the course. So, yeah, Jaden Sancho eventually. Like I said, we knew we wanted to go into a deal. They didn't want it to fall through, so we're going to pay the money there. Then to into offering the contract, you see his agent there uh, looking like Morgan Freeman. If it's not him, yeah, bloody well, he's close to being him <laughs> for a FIFA character. And look at that. We didn't even try and do that, but under the youth development, that's what they wanted. That's not even with the youth scouting in, in the game. That is with a y actual young player with potential. So, yeah, that definitely would be... That definitely would be with Sancho. He's got... Yeah, we know he has got potential. And now another one, Kingsley Coman, another winger, uh, obviously 
French, but would be playing in Germany with Bayern Munich. So he came up in the scouts and we were able, and you'll notice again, we put in an offer, we get it done pretty quickly. And then same with the wage. A lot of the time, guys, a lot of the time, I'm just really happy with accepting. And then for our strikers, we're looking for first team strikers, Timo Werner. We had him earlier in, in the reports. Like we, he's one we got early, but I was holding off a little bit. I was holding to see other options. You can do that. Do that as a manager. Hold off. See your options. And yeah, hopefully you can find someone. But yeah, yeah. I, I wanted maybe someone maybe like a little bit more unique because Timo Werner, probably a lot of people signed. But at this point, he was the best option. You just may tell we have gone big. We have gone big with our transfers, so we had to. We didn't have much budget to play with, left lads. Like, oh, we we've made some big signings now, and this is the point in the window in the preseason as well. The season is getting very, very close to starting, so we went big with our moves, and I was happy with them. I was happy with them, and finally, like at the end, you can see some that we are like players we sold as well, but. What I mean by the end, I felt we spent not not mathematically, not exactly every last penny, but very very close to with finalising that deal for Werner. I had to yeah had to change it up a bit in terms of offering the wage and all that, but yeah I, I was really happy. I, I spent the money. I spent the money and hope we can be up for a good first season. Obviously Chelsea is in the Europa League, so we can't win the Champions League in the first season. So. As you could probably tell by the length of the video, there's definitely more than one season, but this first one is a bit longer, and we'll discuss that as we go on. As we are simulating, like, at least we're going to be playing a few games, but not too many. You know, in this style, is going to be based on simulating. I'll, I'll play a few games, but I didn't want to not show any results. I wanted to show all results, but because of that, it makes it a very long first season. So let me know, and I'll show you how we do the following season. And, yeah, just to show you what, and you guys can tell me me what you prefer or make make it a mix of both regardless yeah let me know but yeah uh here we go against Huddersfield let's see what we can do in terms of getting a victory some I'll skip and some I'll let them play through like this depending on importance of games but Hazard Eden Hazard yeah Eden Hazard he scores a very important goal uh Dembele scores on 63rd really to make sure of it there so Hazard and Dembele, the scorers, conceded late, but yeah, they got uh, the two early-ish goals for us to get a good lead and make sure we do get the early three points there for the season, kicking off very, very well. So Sancho, yeah, he had a little bit of injury, but we can bring him onto the bench there. So you can see how the starting 11 is looking now. I'm really happy. I'm really happy with uh, heading into the season now. So this game against Arsenal... Uh, maybe a first test in the Premier League. Let's see how we're going to go. Can we get an early one in this? Uh, we did Hazard and then Lacazette. <laughs> he just scores a couple minutes later, three minutes later to be exact. Or Bemiang, Arsenal actually take a lead. Then Hazard again to equalise. What a game that is. Is there going to be a late winner? No, there isn't. Last piece of action was a yellow card brandish to Kante there. Uh, next away from home. You know, sometimes they can be tricky in the simulated games as well. So how we're going to go against Newcastle United. Jorginho there. He scores in the 18th minute. Nice to get an early lead in the game. Then Aspilicueta uh, early in the second half there. Dembele and we are smashing him here today. 3-0 victory. Well done. So again, heading right into the next one after that victory away against Newcastle. Now at home against Bournemouth. See, some will just skip and yeah, see the result we get there is a 3 one, like I said, going through all the games in this season, all the games in this season. Uh, but let me know, guys, for future ones I do like this because I definitely want to do more. I really, I loved recording this uh, personally and doing it as one one big video. But now let's see how we'll fare at home against Cardiff. We will be expecting another three-point victory. There we go, 4-0. As I mentioned, those teams we should really beat in the Premier League. We'll just skip them as... Uh, don't let them play through minutes by minutes, <laughs> as you'll see that difference. But take a look at that training session. I had to chuck that one in there because that was so, so good. They got four A's, so how about that? As we are into the Europa League now, Hartberg. We really anticipate a win here, so let's see what we're going to do. Yeah, that's a 2-0. That's two goals to Higuain. He is... 
a great player, great striker. He's aging a little bit, but I thought we can utilize him this year, uh, most definitely. So, yeah, keep, to be, <laughs> keep getting wins at the moment. And this is a bit of a fast pace, guys, but we are eventually heading into a, into a first game first game in this one which is against Liverpool this is a really big game and sorry for this one I don't have the uh, like the, the the game noise the the commentary sounds and everything like that some later games we will do uh, just a little bit of error so anyway anyway we do get the goal there we get the goal to Dembele uh, Dembele really really nice finish really nice finish good time to score as well in the game he, <laughs> as we're heading towards half time, it was about nil nil, nil nil. Could have easily, but we snuck it there. Uh, we took the chance, and yeah, he was really, it was really close. It was really close in the box there, so we had to uh, take the most of that chance. But unfortunately, guys, there is the goal to Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum, he is. He, he's a good player and he was able to get the equalizer there and we're looking uh, we're looking to try and get a winner it's still early enough in the game but this is where drama is going to start guys this is where the drama is going to start <laughs> the real drama in the game because that is a red card send off at still early time 60 minutes uh, so Liverpool are a man down and that is another challenge so you know that's going to be a penalty and James Milner, this is going to be a second sending off for Liverpool, unbelievably. I can't remember the last game, like the last game that happened against me, like for the CPU especially. But now, I wanted to switch this up, I wanted to switch this up here, we're taking a look at the penalty takers and Eden Hazard. Let's see, aim away from the keeper there, hopefully we can score, but no, he makes the save there. Very disappointing because we are, we have got two extra men and we still have not got a lead. Should have scored from that penalty, it was a very, very good save, mind you. As we are running on now, trying to get the winner, there's only about five minutes left. And our big striker signing, Timo Werner. He has got what appears to be the winning goal, guys. There is still about five minutes left, but a great time to score. Great goal. Great goal. Great finish. Great finish by the lad Then <laughs> The team looks to be happy. And hopefully, it won't be short-lived. We surely have to hold on here. And there is the whistle blown, like I said. With two extra men... Two extra men uh, couldn't concede a late goal. So, yeah, back into the simulating now. We're going to play yeah, games every so often there, but not too many, you know, guys, because yeah, we need to get through the seasons. So, yeah, Chelsea v West Ham here, away from home. We only get we only get the point there. We only get the draw. We only get that result. So that's okay, guys. That was okay. We can't win every single one. Uh, next up, Europa League. Uh, we want to be dominant in the group stage, and that match kind of signifies it. But Jorginho, he picks up an injury, guys, and we're going to have to wait and see what happens to him here. And it's a three-month injury. That hurts. That's a lot of games he's going to be missing. But we do have a few central midfielders. We'll see. It was important to sign a first-team one in Neves, hey? And I was just going through how many we have in the team there. So... Yeah, Ruben Neves and then also Loftus-Cheek to make an appearance or yeah, start being part of the rotation system starting on the bench there. Yeah, he will definitely get a go. So next Premier League game away from home against Southampton. Uh, that is going to be a, another victory for us. As you can see, we are sitting top of the league table. We still have to be happy with that. Another little training session next game even like i wanted to play some of the bigger games but we can't play every single one so i think at home against manchester united we should get the victory but we concede early there in the first minutes let's see this one i'm letting it play out because it's a big game luke shaw does uh, pick up a little injury there is that going to happen them it could because hazard scores there is there going to be a late winner no it is going to end that way 1-1, one, one. so that was a very tight and congested match it looked like. So you can see in the Europa League, uh, we have won our first two games, so hopefully we can keep up that form. Uh, Henrik's there, both his sessions, he gets an A rating, so he's he's not being used so much so far, it's more so, yeah, just trying to develop him a bit more. And this is where you would have seen I changed the instructions uh, for 
the scouts uh, to look for players that are running out of their contracts that we could potentially approach in January. Uh, Strakosha was one I was looking at as a goalkeeper. We might need a bit of a better backup. So, yeah, he's on mind a little bit there. I like how David Louise, yeah, he comes up <laughs> he comes up in the search. Yeah, we're not really going to be looking towards him. So, this next one against Utrecht, this is at home in the Europa League. So, we will still be after a win. We're clearly the best team in our group, most definitely. And uh, we get the 3 0 victory. Uh, yeah, Eden Hazard absolutely killing. Uh, away against Burnley, though. We never know. Away game. See, look how close. And I have no idea why their players are ghosts in that one. I don't have some things I don't have answers for in FIFA. So, yeah, this next one against Liverpool. This time we'll be simulating it. Early rounds of a Carabao Cup. Let's see what we're going to do here. Hazard scores once again. Then Kovacic, a uh, pretty solid midfielder as well that we utilize. Got some good handy loans, Chelsea. And yeah, 3-0 completely uh, dominated Liverpool in that one. Uh, next Premier League match is at home against Crystal Palace. Can we get the points here? 2-1, just sneaking that. Very, very close. Very close. But that's a Premier League season. You're not going to be dominating every single match. And we did get a random offer there. I uh, wasn't expecting it to come, but Olivier Giroud. We don't really see a future at him uh, or for him at the club. So we get 15 million. And uh, when we get into maybe like next season, we'll be definitely looking for another striker. Because you know, Higuain here, yeah, he'll be gone. He won't be staying. Gonzalo. Uh, being only on loan like he and Kovacic, but anyway, that was that was a that was a good that was a good one that was a good one there. Uh, now we are what I, something I wanted to point out though, guys, is that we uh, it's it's tough. It's a tough season. It's a very very long season, so we need to manage our team. And yeah, leading on to this. That's why I was talking about it with the injuries we are getting, and we got to make sure. I was thinking at this point, we got to make sure we rotate our team because we do not want the injuries to be piling up even more. So again, against Utrecht, you can see that we have got a decent lead at the top of the group stage. Can we get another victory? Uh, no, that one ended. That was a bit of a disappointing one. <laughs> Not much entertainment there. So, next Premier League game now. Chelsea v Everton. Let's see how this one will play out. Who's going to get the opening goal in this game? We are waiting for you. Any first half goal? It's Bernard. But then Dembele equalizes there. Is there going to be a winner? Chelsea v Everton. Is there going to be a winner? It's Dembele. Dembele makes it 2-1. How about that? And... Again, no time to rest. No time to rest, guys. Uh, like I said, for these uh, for these first couple games, for the first couple games that you see, uh, the match sounds aren't on. Um, not, they just didn't yeah didn't work. So yeah, sorry about that. Uh, for these ones, I'll leave the music going through these <laughs> through these matches without the uh, the commentary sound. So keep that in mind. They'll be there for yeah some of <laughs> some of the later games in this episode for sure. It does not matter because we get an early goal and simulating or playing the games. Eden Hazard has been smashing these goals in. He is an absolute superstar. Uh, he is the fans' favorite at the moment, I can tell. He's definitely my favorite. He's the manager's favorite. He's everyone's favorite at the moment. He is smashing in these goals. That's what I've got to say. So happy with his performance and just on the replays there, what a hit away from the keeper. Hugo is not saving that. So we've got a nice lead in this game here. It is 1-0. It is 1-0, but it's still so, so early. Spurs looking like equalizing here through Dali Ali and he does duly finish there. Was it... Hey, it was a great chance, as I was mentioning. Their build-up was very, very nice. It was a really good finish. A really good finish by the lad, but it was good teamwork. It was good team. But I was a bit disappointed. I was a bit disappointed conceding near post and late in the game here. A few minutes left. It's Kingsley Coman has time to control the finish, and he does that. He does that with skill, with skill. And this late in the game, we know surely that has to be the winning goal. Uh, massive match always. Tottenham v Chelsea. The fans are going to love this. There he is. Hugo disappointed. <laughs> disappointed with his efforts. But I had the time. Had the time to really decide for that controlled effort. 
that finesse uh, on the 88th minute only a couple minutes left now and you see we are going to wrap it up there unless they score late no it was really really well defended but there is a corner could there be some late drama for Tottenham we managed to clear Forster Dali Ali again oh we cleared that should be it surely has to be it Kingsley Coman was trying to get past and we play it through and I'm like whistle whistle finally has been blown so yeah it's been a pretty entertaining match that one oh that was a crazy one it's good to see not every single game the ones i play will be like that but yeah <laughs> it's hard to expect that but that definitely was an intense one now against hartberg we pick up that three one very happy with that and another one against spurs again would love to play all these big team ones but yeah can't do that you see how long the video is <laughs> so yeah uh we did play did play a few opposed just simulating the whole whole career a whole video I'm sure for doing for you guys uh, but yeah I want to get a bit more gameplay uh, Chelsea well we look like getting the win here in the Carabao Cup Spurs through Sissoko they like got a late goal but we were able to get through that on penalties so Manchester City Manchester City let's see how we go I thought at home we should be able to just Get, get just get over them because I just felt we had a bit more a bit more but yeah it was only a 1-1 there uh, in my mind I was considering should I have played that match because it was it's a big one uh, but like I said I knew it will uh, yeah be a bit long for the video uh, to play every single match we'll still play a lot of games so yeah the main focus has to be the rebuilding of the transfers and the rebuilding of the squad through transfers so uh, yeah Fulham Fulham now. Can we get the victory against them? 1-1. We get... Yeah, that was a bit of a disappointing result, honestly. We relied on a late equaliser as well. So, yeah, Timo Werner scoring some important goals. Yeah, he and Hazard yeah, scoring a lot of goals. And Jorginho, we've got through that three-month period now uh, of his injury. We, we, we did all right. We did all right. He's still an important player to the team. Still an important player for the team, of course. So, yeah, he's going to be... He's still going to be important. Uh, to bring back but we don't want to rush him we are not gonna rush him back at all we cannot we cannot risk that we cannot risk getting more injuries we don't want that to hurt us as we get closer to the important time of the season which i mean when we get to the knockout stages of europa league and late stages of the season in the premier league but i think we will be yeah we will definitely be right there so away from home against wolves in the premier league uh, nice result there Komen got a fairly late goal 71st minute to make sure we win there now Chelsea v Leicester we are approaching Christmas so let's take this a bit slower this one Kovacic he's a, I told you, he's a good midfield he comes up with a few goals I notice in the simulated ones really really handy only goal in this game up until this time could it be for the whole game and it turned out to be the match winner so yeah told you very very important here we actually did get it off of full Marcus Alonso and this is where we're going to be considering getting a new left back he's not too old he's 27 but 83 overall with the money we'd also get from it on top of how much we have I think we can get someone with a higher overall than him and that will be a better play and to get 36 million yeah what do you think getting 36 million we had a couple earlier offers as you can see we rejected there but yeah a bit more for him it was a bit of a difference maker for me so then we changed we went to searching for our left backs and see who we have there we've got a few names Alex Telles who I think is really good Marcelo maybe previously but he's really he's getting a bit older now at 30 so I wasn't sure whether we'd go for him so now yeah, after Christmas there on the 26th, uh, we get a win just. We relied on a penalty from Hazard. <laughs> the simulated penalties. Uh, he scores them. And now, December 29th match in the Premier League. We sneak. We're sneaking. <laughs> we're sneaking so many. Oh, more good ratings in the training. Those A's there. Very, very nice to see help with the development of the players. So, uh, very, very important. But, yeah, we had to keep tabs. We had to keep tabs because we have to. We know. We know we're going to need a new left back. So Marcelo, we, I still ended up putting him on the short list because I always loved Marcelo in FIFA for so many years. So kind of a habit. But Alexandro, Alexandro is one I'm really eyeing. He's at 86 overall and he's not one that's aging. But there, yeah. Alonso, Giroud, both leaving the club there. So yeah, Alexandro. Alexandro, as I mentioned to you guys, I was really eyeing him because I thought his replacement, like, 
three overall higher and he's just an overall i feel he's just overall better overall better player than marcus alonso and you would definitely eye that as a as an improvement <laughs> i did most definitely anyway so so strong so so strong and hopefully we see that and we did want to get him a debut because i saw where it said yeah he's going to be he's going to be playing his debut we wanted to play that match <laughs> we wanted to play that match lads and take a look at his stamina he's such a great player to have in career mode stamina is one of the most important attributes for a player and then i didn't really we didn't pick up so many that i liked anyway i don't know if it was my instructions i just searched for first team quality and yeah players running out their deals so yeah Strakon I'm not going to complain about it at all because I'm pretty happy with how the squad is looking. But, yeah, we're not going to go so crazy on pre-contract deals. We're going to try and pick up Strakosha. Unfortunately, though, just with the squad roll, he wanted to be important. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter too much. It doesn't matter too much uh, for, this, for this challenge. It's not going to be super long term. We're hoping to qualify for the Champions League in this first season, hoping to win it in the second season. So, yeah, we've still got to see how that goes as we enter the 30th minutes of the video here hit that on point didn't i just <laughs> exactly on 30 minutes but let's go southampton the first match of the season the first or oh, sorry the first match of the new year a <laughs> new year in mind the first match of the new year in this one guys we wanted to play i thought it was a fitting time because we have a new player uh, in Alexandro to have his debut and new year because it is a new year we are wanting to kick it off very very well and yeah big name big name coming in and you can only say hopefully that's an improvement like I said want to focus on the squad building aspect and for this one we have got the game sounds going we've got the crowd we've got the commentators in the background as well so let's see if that's gonna bode well for us a bit later in the first half yeah wasted chance we did not honestly it was a bit disappointing it was because you'll see we're playing these games on ultimate as well sometimes you have games where you just can't really construct a good chance and then the opposition are gonna go forward and honestly that was a great cross and it was a great leap and i was a bit frustrated that we conceded in that aspect honestly through that way and alexander i wanted to get him involved maybe we could try from a cross as well but uh for me personally crosses don't come off a lot don't come off. that's why i get frustrated when i concede from him uh to be fair so that didn't really go to plan that one so uh we just have to yeah push on anyway just one one game in the season at the end of the day have to push on to the next one that's a three nil result in the fa cup it was expected really uh but then arsenal Arsenal away from home, Carabao Cup. How is this one? How is this one going to play out? Let's see. Let's see. Who's going to get the first goal in this game? Who's going to get the opener? Is it going to be? There's no goal in the first half. So some changes are being made. Then Ozil scores. Are we going to get one? Or are we going to get knocked out? Oh, Dembele, he saves us at the death. He saves us. So, yeah, we're going to have to have a bit of a replay. We're going to have to have a replay for that one. Let's see how we go this time. Can we beat Arsenal? I fancy ourselves in the simulation at home, away from home a bit more. Yeah, a bit more of a struggle. A bit more of a struggle there to score, but it's it's looking very, very similar until there's goals. <laughs> Two goals in, in a hurry uh, for both sides there. So it's 1-1, and it's going to be heading into extra time. Hazard scores. Eden Hazard is going to be the match winner again. Yeah, he is. He is very important. He came up. He came up for us. So another game uh, we are going to get to playing, guys, is against Manchester City. This is a huge one. This is a huge one for us. So let's see. Let's see if we get the result. Let's see if we get the result here. Uh, Emirates FA Cup. This is this is a big one. But unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, we concede. Uh, we concede. Mares. Uh, Mares gets that goal. So uh, it wasn't the greatest of starts. So early in the second half, now we are looking towards getting that goal back, and that was so well played. And who else? Who else but Eden Hazard? <laughs> who else but Eden Hazard? He is everywhere. Hazard, just another goal, another goal to his name for the season. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely great goal, but it was another teamwork, uh, teamwork-based goal there. Very neatly, uh, very tidy in that finish. But again, it's Mares. That cross, it was perfect. Couldn't do much about it as we were trying to block 
Uh, when you're trying, you know, when you're trying to block a cross coming in, and then once it's like that, you couldn't do too much. So it looks like we're going down unless there's a late goal. Can there be some late magic? Hazard! Unfortunately, it was saved, and we don't score too many from corners. But could we finally? It's Rudiger! Finally, we get the goal there, literally at the end of the match. Important goal. He's won. He's won. He's a big, stocky centre back at the corners. Dangerous. But I love the runs he makes and then how he leaps. Yeah, you see that. It's not so much of a run there, it's more his leap. Uh, yeah, he's. I've got a few with him. Uh, that's the thing. He's very, very good. I've used him ultimate team a little bit. And he's he's so good. He's actually really handy. He's one of the few that step up from corners. So there we go. <laughs> there we go. Nice, a nice goal to make it a draw. Uh, to force a, a replay there, but anyway, anyway, we have got this Premier League match now against Bournemouth away from home. So let's see when this first goal of this game's coming. And Jaden Sancho, he does get a start here, and he gets a goal, shows his talent and shows his scoring ability. Can we hold on to that? And then that's another goal for us, Higuain. Um, he finished it. He finished it off for us. And at home against Huddersfield. Uh, we should be anticipating, we should be anticipating a victory. We should be anticipating a victory there. You can see the squad is looking very good. Again, the rotations have been solid, so no one too tired. 3-0, big, big win. So this time, again, we can't keep playing so many here. Uh, again, you see we're still in the first season, <laughs> over 30 minutes through by showing every single game we're playing and simulating. So can we beat Manchester City here, guys? Can we... Aguero, we're behind. We're behind. This is not looking good. It could be knocked out of the FA Cup. Are we knocked out? It is... Oh, that's a late goal. Hazard. Yeah, he scored 81st minute. Oh, and then he scores right at the death. Oh, I, I had no idea what was going to happen there. And then we've got another game. There's games everywhere. We've got bare games against Manchester City here. This one's in the Premier League. How are we going to fare away from home in the Premier League against Manchester City? Is there going to be a goal in the first half? No, no goals in the first half. Is there going to be a winner? Is there going to be a Is there going to be a goal at all in this one? Kyle Walker picked up an injury. There was no goals at all. Surely there had to be goals in that one. Chelsea v Manchester City with all the attacking talent. But it was not to be as we get through another training session. But this is the exciting part, guys. This is where we're getting close to the exciting stages anyway. The knockout stages. Knockout stage of the Europa League. This is where we want to we wanna try and win Europa League. We want to try and get Premier League to our name. But win Europa League and Champions League for this challenge, guys. We've started well here. Got a nice lead. That's 1-0. But no, Lopez scores late. I was still happy with the away goal. I think we're still in a good position at home. We should get the job done. But Sheffield United... Oh, sorry, guys. I, I think I skipped that result, but we did win. Apologies. <laughs> Apologies. That was just so many games to get through, but we were able to there. So, apologies about that. 1-0. 1-0. Uh, Can we end up getting the victory? We get the victory here, guys. Yes, two two goals. Alexandra gets sent off there, so that's absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. That goal, very important to make sure we go through. So, Chelsea. V Spurs. And the, oh, like I said, always big. Always big. But get into the simulator with this one. When's the first when's the first goal gonna be scored, guys? Verna Sissoko. He equalized shortly after. Very, very frustrating. And it ends up ends up 1-1. But we're still holding strong. We are holding strong in the league. Had a couple games in hand there, actually. So yeah, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind to show the position. Uh, show the position we're in. So that was that was pretty good. So we were just we were just making a bit of rotations here. Uh, I want to show you sometimes we make the rotation so you see the side uh, going in for the match. This one against Newcastle United, March first. We do get the two nil victory, two nil victory right there. So Chelsea v Newcastle. This is a big one. This is the final. So Aspilicueta he is he is suspended for this one. So this is one we are going to play. This is one we are going to get into. Uh, this is one we are going to play, and hopefully the finals, finals we have to. But we have so many players that are tired, so here you're truly, you're truly going to see a lot of rotations <laughs> going on. And yeah, still quite a few players, still quite a few players we wouldn't ideally want to want to be starting. So if we go head 
into this. Go ahead and play the match. And we, we are stronger. We are a stronger side than Newcastle United. That is for sure. And even a late deliberation there, I thought, surely, yeah, uh, we had to start Werner. He's fresh up. He's 100%. So you're like, yeah, surely you have to be starting Werner there. So pretty early in the game now. Can we get that goal? And then maybe I thought maybe we could rest some players. But either way, either way. Oh, no, not quite. Not quite, Werner. Werner with the finish. Took a bit of a deflection there. But it's a nice goal. It's a nice goal. It's another one for Werner. Come on, lads. Let's push on to win this. Let's push on to win this. Here's Kante. Come on, you little Kante. Can we score? Can we score? Not quite. It falls back to him, though. He lays it off to Neves. No. No goal. But are we going to get this back? Come on, pressure them. Pressure. Get a tackle in. It's Henriks. Very important signing he was for the rotations. And it goes to Werner. Now Neves. Neves! What a goal. And to make it 2-0 later in this first half, that was really, really important. Ruben Neves. Happy with that goal because once we made it 2-0, yeah, starting to feel the confidence, starting to feel the confidence there, 2-0. Uh, take a look at the replay. But what a shot that was, guys. He was in a lot of space. We had time to really, yeah, size it up. Had time to size it up there. Yeah, that's his first goal in the Carabao Cup. And, hey, what an important one. What an important one. Could we go on and really finish him? This time it's Barkley. Get him, Ross. There you go. 3-0. 3-0. What a performance. What a performance here. It was it was truly expected. It was truly expected against uh, our opposition, Newcastle United. But we went all the way. We went all the way in the cup, the League Cup, the good old League Cup. It's not the most... Oh, I suppose it's not the competition you pre prepare yourself to win. But when you get in this situation, of course you want to go all the way. You want to go all the way when you make it to the final. But it wasn't something in mind, uh, most definitely, as I mentioned. But, yeah, you want to lift the trophy. Uh, lift the trophy. I'm not going to go, again, through the whole process <laughs> of the celebration. But 2-0, good win uh, as we move on to... We move on to the next stage of the Europa League. Uh, we beat Besiktas there 2-0, which was nice, a nice result, as we will be hopefully working towards making uh, the final. We get 1-1, 1-1. We get a draw there against Wolves. Not the greatest result, but that's okay. We did pick up a little injury there. Hazard, five weeks. I say a little injury, but five weeks for Hazard is pretty big for the team. Hopefully won't hurt us. Uh, here's a test. Can we score? Kimpembe, a defender, steps up for us. And he scores to make it 1-0. And we may be holding on here. Will be nice. Dembele, yeah, that really finishes Arsenal off there uh, to make sure, make sure we get the result. So, yeah, the round of 16. That's truly make sure we finish him. Finish him here. Come on. Come on, can we get can we get an early goal? They actually missed a penalty. That was Yilmaz. And then Sancho made him pay on the 18th minute. And 2-0 through Werner that time. Uh, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good now to finish it off. 2-0. 2 Another nice victory. So now FA Cup. We look to be really progressing well in the FA Cup. So this time we've had a lot of matches against Spurs so far this season. Obviously in the league. But then in the cup competitions, uh, Roberto scores there. Not looking good. Not looking good. But then Gonzalo. Gonzalo for us equalizes. Then Werner scores. Makes it 2-1. Makes it 2-1. Now we're in a really, really good position to win. And we do advance in the FA Cup. Now moving on to the next one. Fulham. Away from home in the Premier League, that one's going to end 1-1. So we've still had some disappointing results or draws that could have been wins. A six-week, it's it's not the time in the season to get a six-week injury to Rudiger. He's had very good form, I was pointing out there. He and Hazard, they're key players to be missing. And we've got away from home game against Cardiff here. We still manage to beat Cardiff, so... Yeah, a lot of injury troubles, but we managed to get the manager of the month there. That was really good for me to take, but still we got to focus on the team. There's a lot to do, so Hazard is still coming back. Uh, come back soon, though. We'll come back soon. At home against Brighton, picture this a win, a big win, as you see there. We get that. So a couple home Premier League games in a row here. That's another 3-0. That's another win, a 3-0 there. So now quarterfinals of the Europa League. So the teams are getting a bit harder. This time it's Napoli. But Kovacic scores again early in the game. 
how we want to be starting, but we don't want another injury, guys. Werner, and he's forced off as well. Jorginho, <laughs> he scores in this match. How about that? Oh, big goal. Big goal. But I'm not... Not um, not really happy about that injury to Werner because we're gonna see we're gonna see how long that's for and it's seven weeks guys the injuries are slowly piling up on us but hopefully we'll be able to do without him do well and advance past Napoli guys let's see how we go Giorgino again goes real real big he's been scoring you know, with some consistency of late then Komen. So regardless, we're still gonna we've got, we've got players. We've got players to score without a doubt. So you see there, uh, the side is looking still strong despite the current injuries. Uh, a couple of big first team players and away from home against Liverpool. This one is huge. Let's see, are we gonna get a goal in the first half, lads? We are waiting for it. We are waiting for that goal to come. It did not. It did not come in the first half. Will there be a goal at all? We're waiting for it, and then two, that happens so much in the simulator games like that, and then it suddenly ends. Well, what would you say? What would you say about that? <laughs> it seemed like a quiet game, then two goals in two minutes, so you yeah, need to switch up. Uh, switch up the rotations, switch up the, the team for this one. So, semi-finals, semi-finals in the FA Cup. Can we go all the way? Can we go all the way? Can we beat Liverpool this time, guys? Can we get a goal? We do. Aspilicueta there. Nice. And Fabinho, he equalizes. He equalizes there with the penalty. And Kovacic scoring. Uh, Kovacic, yeah, Kovacic and Jorginho. A lot of goals come through them uh, in the midfield. So that was a good victory for us. Now another big game. This is Manchester United. Away from home against United. Can we see a victory? Pogba. Oh, he gets a penalty there. But Hazard equalizes. Then Coman gets a goal to, for us to take a lead. Can we beat them? No, no, we can't because they did get a fairly late goal there. So, yeah, a lot of tight games. But we've got semi-finals. We were eyeing the semi-finals. Another manager award received. So we are killing that at the moment. We're killing it at the moment. The performances, uh, we are. that's a good thing. At the moment, this time in the season, we're at, we're at, we are at our very best. We are at our very, very best at the moment, which is... Which is what we want, which is what we want heading into the semis, heading into the semis. Can we get an early break? Can we get the first goal here? And we want to make sure we don't concede an away goal. We don't want Marseille having that away goal to their name. And we're doing all right in terms of that. Yeah, we do all right in terms of that. Yeah, we make it 90 minutes. A bit disappointing, but at that point in the game, like if we can hold off conceding that away goal, I reckon, I reckon, yeah, we can... We can still have a chance to beat them. We can still have a chance to beat them. Very important. So, yeah, there's our confirmed <laughs> uh, Premier League title. So, we get that. So, some celebrations there, but not to be uh, too up in arms about it. Because, uh, yeah, we didn't have the actual celebrations in the game. Anyway. Anyway, this is a big one. This is a big one. I thought we did need some rotations there as well. So, we, we wanted to have a strong team at the same time, so balanced it in that way. Very, very important. We've got to make the final. Lu Luis Gustavo, he picks up an injury there. And Hazard, who else but Eden Hazard? He scores another goal, but then it was Balotelli to equalize. But, guys, this means we will advance. That's why, okay, nil-nil, it wasn't too bad. It's a draw. We just scraped, though, guys. We, are, we rely on the away goals rule. So now, later in the season, the Premier League games do not matter as much. Not that I changed up the team too much anyway. It's been a long first season. It's been a long first season. And you can t I think the players can feel that. But then Dembele, he gets a winner. He gets a winner late there. Player returns from injury. We get Timo Werner just in time. Just in time we get him. We did want him back. Uh, but obviously, yeah, can't rush him too much. Like I said, for this one, uh, like another, another Premier League match, one against Le Le Leicester. Uh, thoughts, we got to win here. You got to win in this one, guys. It's going to be a big match. Have to prep ourselves. And actually, guys, this is this is the <laughs> this is going to be the FA Cup. This is actually the FA Cup final. Sorry, not Premier League. I thought, <laughs> yeah, we played them. Uh, yeah, this is it's crept up on me. This is the FA Cup final. This is a big one in itself, guys. One nil. We take the lead there. Kante, yeah, you little Kante. 
<laughs> good finish. Good finish, and I don't say that in a bad way. That's a good way, mate. That is a good way. What a goal. What a goal. Beautiful goal by Kante. <laughs> What a sweet, what a sweet strike that was. And now it's Kovacic. Kovacic. Oh, what a goal. And really, what else did you expect, guys? What else did you expect? What a season. What a season from Eden Hazard. That may have took a bit of a deflection. Guys, that did take a bit of a deflection, but it looked bloody sweet. It looks so sweet. It looks so sweet. Take a look at the replay, especially in real time, because, yeah, it looked more obvious there on the replay. But, yeah, oh, in this final, in this final, and we've got another one coming up in the Europa League as well. Oh, that header. That's perfect, guys. If you want a header, that's the way you're going to do it. That's the way you're going to do it. And Kovacic, he, he, he had a huge season. He had a huge season, but header down. Header down. The keeper stands no chance, especially it came off the crossbar as well. Yeah, I don't think you're going to see a more unstoppable header. Look at that. Header down and comes in at the top of the crossbar. <laughs> yeah, keeper's not going to save that. No way. No way at all. No way at all. Come on. 3-0. We have dominated in this one, lads. You deserve to celebrate. He was big. <laughs> he was big, wasn't he? Uh, but at the same time, we do have to uh, we have to have our celebration there. But the attention is going to is going to turn is going to turn towards the Europa League final. Obviously, we want that Europa League Euro European success. But yeah, let the lads lift their cup there. Kante, he's been great throughout the season. So clearly, again, dominating in the final. But we want to go all the way. We win every competition we're in <laughs> this season, guys, pretty much. The Carabao Cup, uh, FA Cup, and Premier League. And now can we do the same? Unfortunately, we'll be without Aspel Equator. But the, one of the signings we did make, I knew he was going to be important at right, at right back now. He's 83 overall. Yeah, and Benjamin Henricks. So hopefully going to have a big game. But then Dembele with an injury. That's not what we wanted. But Coleman... Komen is still very, very strong, guys. So hoping, hoping this squad, this 11 is going to be enough. And it's AC Milan, guys. This is a big match. This is huge. This match is huge right now. But I believe we have the squad. I was taking a look, maybe Werner again. It wasn't about fitness. It was about quality. And I thought Werner was more, maybe a bit more of a manager Millions decision. So here we go. Europa, Europa League final. London Europa Stadium. Europa. This is a big one for us. But unfortunately, the first half was a little bit of a quiet one, lads. It was a bit of a quiet match. In the first half, AC Milan had a bit of a chance there, but Alexandro, yeah, proved the signing of him. Good block. And now 75th minute, still no goal, but unfortunately AC Milan are coming into the box. Oh, no. Bakayoko scores against us. Oh, could this be the downside of a long season? Are we going to go down? But 10 minutes remain. Gonzalo Higuain, he comes on late. He comes on late. Assist there. He comes on late and gets a bit of an assist for Werner. So we're right back into it. Late in the game, we did bring on, yeah, to use two strikers. Uh, that's something we push to do when we need, when we desperately need that goal. When we need that Galasso. Now, can we get a late winner? Go on, Kingsley Coman. He's got the pace. Can he get past? Moves really, really well there then gets it to Werner then he won twos with him then he absolutely smacked that smacked that no acorn but he smacked that what a finish what a finish injury time there is only surely a handful of seconds in this game that was an am what a way to win a final win a Europa League final in that way as we I thought we were dead and buried honestly that there was no way back when we conceded thought we were down and out but uh, this Chelsea side never gives up these players we've brought in that our scouts brought us lads they've done the job Coleman and Werner stepped up here and it's another celebration for you boys you never gave up you never gave up 
by Komen. That it wasn't even a last minute winner. That was a last second winner. Whoo, whoo! How about that, guys? I'm I'm up for that one because this is this is giving us momentum heading into the next season after winning all these competitions in sight we're going to be gunning for the champions league next season to go super big so this chelsea side we're winning everything in sight we're winning everything in sight so we're hoping to win the uh, the 2020 champions league hoping to have that 2020 sight that 2020 vision hopefully have that so we just we knocked off everything right there that the board wanted of us we showed that so strongly so guys as we mentioned this season, this first season, I basically showed every game. Whether we played it, I want to show you who won there. Juventus, so we can take their crown uh, in the next season. I want to show you guys, yeah, how long it would take if we show everything. <laughs> Even the simulated game. So we're going to, yeah, a bit of a change of tactic for this for this second season. I want to go through, and here we're just going to show you what the squad is looking like. We have a lot of players, actually, that came back from loan. <laughs> There's quite a few decent talents there, uh, to be honest. And, yeah, this... We're not going to see them probably reach their potential, but yeah, you're going to see, you're going to see what it's looking like. But then I notice goalkeepers, and I'm like, oh yeah, we did sign Strakosha, so it's okay. We have two good keepers for the season, two solid keepers for the season. So yeah, there's a bit quicker here, uh, progressing into the signings. Yeah, like I already talked about with Strakosha, the peak, the pre-contract arrival, and we we had tw guys, we had 200 mil. We had a lot of money to play with after a fantastic season. I thought surely we had to have the maximum money of funds that they could have gave us. What else would I like? Or what else could I have? What I won every single competition. So here, guys, I wanted to show you the the, the, the instructions. The instructions, because we're not going to have a long negotiation of the transfers. And let me know, is this how I should show the transfers in yeah future episodes with other teams I do of this challenge? Uh, because I want to do more. Like I said, leave a like on the video if you want to see more of these because uh, I've really enjoyed doing this video. So just to speed up the process and maybe not actually show you guys every single game uh, that I simulate, of course. Because, uh, yeah, it was a pretty long first season, wasn't it? But uh, more important, like one of the biggest parts, we stopped it for a bit outside of the transfer window. But uh, in terms of showing you the instructions of the GTN and all of that, but these are the signings we went for. We went big. We wanted to go for another striker. We know that first season we experienced a lot of... Uh, injuries at times. So we went Mbappe and uh, Frankie de Jong. We didn't really go for too many huge moves. It was a really big striker and a, re a really good midfielder in well in de Jong. It, it, that's, he's a, very good. He'll do very, very well. That's what's in mind. And uh, to, just to show you some of the sales as well, uh, we did in fact make, I thought Mbappe is huge. Mbappe is huge. And he's a bit of a surprising one. He's a bit of a surprise. He's huge, but he's not on the thumbnail. Just to hit you with the surprise. I hit you with that. Uh, hit you with the surprise. And he's a big one. So guys, yeah, this is a bit of a speeding uh, speeding up. We played 12, 12 games. And just to give you a review of that and uh, like I said get up get up in the comments if you like the the speed of this second this second season even if I don't go through the simulations I go on the calendar and review the results as you can take a look at them here uh, we did win the Super Cup against Juve give you more of a roundup of those so it could be a bit more of a speed process because oh, I want to do this maybe with a lower team not too low but maybe in starting in the championship or something or yeah you guys will leave me your suggestions and it's definitely gonna take yeah it will take more than like two or three seasons it could take maybe four or five if not, <laughs> if not more so yeah let me know in the style you would like to see that because you can't have a video like this going up for two hours or something like that. that's crazy so at this length is probably the maximum so i want you guys to get your feedback and how you'd like to see them uh being presented like this first season versus this second season so yeah let me know as we did give a bit of update uh, of results there you can see a few west brom there was a nice result there you got the 2-1 marseille 2-0 and like i said it's going to be a big focus of the champions league because we already had so much success there was a draw 1-1 and you see how we're going in the champions league there we are top of the group stage so yeah for this second season what we're focusing on now is champions league champions league winning going on to win the uefa champions league is the focus right now so uh, we are making uh, towards the start of the new year <laughs> i got it right this time the start of the new year and we're in a good position. We're even in a good position in the league as well. So, yeah, guys, we haven't played the only game we're going to play. If we make the Champions League final, guys, that's the game we will play. 
uh, for this. So hopefully uh, we can, but we'll, we'll show, I thought we'll show the simulations. We'll show the simulations when we get into the knockout stages as this kind of schedule or style, let's say. After 20 league games though, uh, still top, still top. So it's nice to see. And after the group stage finish as well, uh, 13 points, even though we did get one loss there, it was still pretty, uh, pretty good. So yeah, Benfica round of 16. I, I like that draw. It's probably the easiest draw <laughs> out of all those teams. So I was happy with that. So yeah, the 2020, we are into 2020 right now. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to advance uh, advance and make it all the way to the final and see what we do there guys see what we can do in the final so but we got Benfica we got Benfica coming up hopefully we can show are we are we bigger than a, a, a surely I think after the signings even with our team last season I think we could have had a decent run in the Champions League would have been Champions League winning we don't know but now with Mbappe Mbappe and could be a bit more drama to that but yeah leave it a bit later leave it a bit later here we go away from home we need an away goal lads can we step up to get that away goal we're hoping for it. Or is it going to be another one? Is it going to stay nil-nil? Very, very interesting. If it's going to be making some changes. Making some changes. But it doesn't look like anyone is going to score here. Very disappointing because we, uh, we didn't get an away goal there. We didn't get an away goal. But then also I thought at home, especially fully fit. Like look at that side there. Surely we should give it to Benfica at home. I think we should just be too good. So Hazard, yeah, he scores in the first minute, mate. Yeah, he does. He does. And Hazard, he scores another. He's on the 24th minute. Then Mbappe, killing. I thought, yeah, Mbappe would just add another huge aspect to it. Because, uh, of course, we don't have Gonzalo for the second season. So we went huge. Five star performance. Uh, Hazard, absolutely amazing. But you would see next, guys. You would see our next opponents. Uh, our next opponents are uh, not... They're not going to be so easy. Quarterfinals. Quarterfinals v PSG. The first leg at home. Let's see how we go. And don't forget, we took their player in Mbappe. Could he do something here? No, we actually concede. But then Mbappe scores back. Happy with that. But with PSG having an away goal. Yeah, not so happy with that. Can we get a lay goal? Get a bit of a... Oh, no, we don't. We don't get a lead there. So the next leg, guys. Away. The away leg. Can we... Can we win here, or is it going to be disappointment? Are we going to be knocked out by PSG? I'm hoping we're going to have enough. Hopefully we're going to have enough to beat them. Come on, an early away goal will be nice. Come on, lads, don't disappoint me. Mbappe, yes, that's why we signed you. But then <laughs> Bagambu scores. Mbappe, he can't be stopped. He can't be stopped, and it looks like he's going to take us over the line, and he does. Pretty much the difference maker. Signing him was the difference maker, that big money. So, hey, money, <laughs> it can show. But, ah, Kimpembe, another injury. We haven't actually had so many injuries this season, so I thought we'll take that. He is, like, to me, like, well, well by rating. <laughs> yeah, he's the best rated centre-back. So, uh, you would notice as this gone on, we've been playing Aspilicueta as uh, one of the centre-backs and uh, put Henrik's uh, right back as he's continued to develop. So, I thought that was all right. But, guys, Barcelona. Barcelona we've got in the semis. You would say, oh, that should be the final. Who knows who we could... I say who could have in the final. We've got to focus on beating them. So we lose there in the FA Cup. But yeah, that's all done. We we got all those... The English competitions done in the first season. Even won Europa League as well. Champions League is the competition we're after. But it's Barca. It is Barca. So... Alexandro, if you notice, he actually did... I know, this is, this is in super speed. This is like a speed... <laughs> a speed challenge as well. Uh... The speed playthrough. But anyway, guys. Anyway. We're missing him. For this one. Barca, it's a huge game. But guys, hold up. Hold up to you. Does that Barca team look a bit weak? There's a few weaknesses in the squad. Because with that, Dembele, he scores an early goal. It's not one of the most strongest Barca sides we've seen. So, we go 2-0. If we can hold off, keep a clean sheet. Barca not scoring an away goal. And they don't. No away goals there. I think we're sitting in a good position away from home. I can't get too ahead of myself though, guys. There's the match preview. They've still got Messi. Messi and he can make things messy for us. You can't doubt a Barca team with uh, Lionel Messi in it. So let's see 
How this one goes in Dembele, important, important, even though Kramaric, he scores it, really happy with that away goal that we got in a really good position. We still got the lead, and that is going to be it. Oh, Barcelona made 2-1, but that's still going to be good enough. Uh, Neves did pick up a little injury there, guys. So that's, that's enough to get us to the final. But if you see there quickly, the player suspended, that was actually... If you did not see it, you're going to be surprised. If you did not see it, we'll give you a bit of a surprise. Who are we going to be missing? And it would be the biggest miss. But we've made it, guys. We've made it to the final. We've made it to the final here. And we did end up winning the Premier League. I know we didn't play any games. Sorry, in the, in the second set. It's not, this is not really about me playing the games. We're going to play this big Champions League final, though. It's, like I said, about the... Uh, what we can do with the building of the squad, the squad building aspects. and But it is Mbappe, guys. It is Mbappe. We're going to be with all this build-up without Mbappe now. That's so disappointing. That is so disappointing. So there, Abraham is going to make the bench. And I'm hoping, yeah, Timo Werner's 88 overall. And I still think he's good enough. It's just, yeah, a bit of a disappointing fact. So we're heading into the Champions League final. And sorry if I don't show you a lot of the scenes. Just UEFA are so bad on YouTube. They... They copyright everything. I know, yeah, it's fair enough, but it's in a video game. But, yeah, sorry. <laughs> just ahead of time. Just ahead of time. Show you a little bit as I can. That's just about it. But anyway, guys, yeah, just a little, little bit of warning. But I'm sure you would have heard other YouTubers, other FIFA, FIFA YouTubers talk about that. But the build-up, the hype, guys. The hype for this one. The hype for this one. Against Real Madrid, Champions League final. Can we get an early goal? It's Dembele with the skill and the finish. We take the lead in the Champions League final. Chelsea take the lead. Chelsea take the lead in the final here, lads. Oh, what a start. It is super, super early. It is super early. So it may not be the early or the only goal because it was an early goal. And now it's Icardi. Oh, they're playing it around. It's Isco. Tries to strike, but they keep, keep pressing. And that goal was coming, guys. I hated conceding through that fashion. Uh, it was a very frustrating goal to concede, honestly, guys. Because I hate when you defend, defend. The ball keeps rebounding back. Like, look at that tackle. Look at the block. Ah, yeah. So disappointing. So disappointing to concede a Champions League goal like that. But it's 1-1. Could we get a late winner? Could it be, guys? Could it be another late winner? It's Dembele. He did it before. Could he do it again? Take the shot now. No, they had someone in the way. Varane got in the way. We had about three shots there. And that could be it for the 90 minutes. This is really, guys, this GTN only, <laughs> scouted players only challenge is going to go right to the death for winning everything. But Sancho, could the winger do it again? Who it's going to be a corner. And maybe something that we saw before. Just a bit more to it on this occasion. It is Rudiger, and that was absolutely perfect. That's exactly what you want from your center half at the set play, at the corner. For your, for your corner set piece, there he's run. That was a perfect run from the lad. Exactly. I'd love that every single time. I'd love that every single time. Let's take a look at the replay, guys. Look at his run. Did you see how he went around? Did you see how he went around? And he's got so much power in his in his head, man. Like, what a, what a finish. Man. That is perfect. Man. It's what, exactly what you want from your centre back. <laughs> yeah, you saw what was coming there, hey lads. Another frustrating goal. After a great goal scored from us, I say a great goal from a corner, but the away he scored it was so happy. But see how I headed it away? Came back. So frustrating. Now it looks like it's going to be heading into penalties. That would be absolutely insane, but we could have one final chance. Could it be another? European final late winner and it is it is Timo Vern ah oh yes injury time of extra time and surely again just seconds to remain oh wow so injury time of extra time to win the UEFA Champions League Chelsea can only do it with drama 
They could only do it with... That was a really nice finish, though. That was a really lovely finish from Werner. See, it was always heading away from the keeper there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was excellent. That was excellent. Oh, that was always a Thibaut, Thibaut Courtois. <laughs> Thibaut Courtois in goals as well, but... Oh... What a win. What a way to win it, lads. What a way. What a way. That's 3-2. That is 3-2. What a way to do it. What a way to do it. And you deserve the celebration, guys. You deserve to celebrate. Oh, the finals. We've done them. We've done them without cool. With It hasn't been easy. <laughs> the Europa League final. Drama. Late winners. Champions League! That was next level! That was next level drama, though. Oh, what a victory, though. We went hard with it, and the success, the success this team we've built here that has got in two seasons has been absolutely amazing. It's Chelsea, no doubt. They have the backing. They have the financial backing to bring in these big, la big lads. But keep in mind, we didn't have Mbappe in this final. He missed out, disappointingly. And these, these two seasons, Hazard, he was absolutely key. He was amazing. He was, to me, the best player. We had so many good players, though. Uh, Kante has uh, captain a lot through this as well, uh, where we ended in the second season. Yeah, he developed just being the general selection for the captain. He, he led so much in the center of the park. He was so key. He probably wasn't one of our better players. He might sneak into the top five, but... A lot of goal scorers that would be handed to. Uh, we have strong defense as well. But what a win, guys. What a win. We do win the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail was the Champions League. Everything we won before was big the way we did it. But, yeah, go on with the celebration again. Sorry I can't have the noise there because I've had to take out things from this video. <laughs> because yeah, that, not EA, not, not, not EA, it's more on uh, UEFA's side, so apologies for that, but I have some music in the background anyway uh, uh, to comp compensate for those moments, but come on guys, celebrate, celebrate, be, be uh, standing up, celebrating, clapping your hands, do something, do something, because oh, what a way, this is probably the most, oh, the, in terms of the fashion I've done it in with Chelsea, the, I haven't had this many match winning <laughs> late goals, oh, especially in cup finals. Oh, the, the fashion we did it in is inspirational. That was inspirational how we did it. Look how tight in the match that things were as well. I'll show you. Yeah, Hazard, of course. Yeah, give it to him. Player of the match. He was player of the match so many times in games <laughs> through this. So, guys, we are uh, coming towards the end. Coming towards the end of this. So, to give you a bit of a roundup. Uh, this was actually the most time I've spent on a YouTube video my whole time on YouTube. I've got over 2,500 videos, and I spent over a week on this. You would probably tell the amount of uh, yeah, the amount of minutes were spent of the first season. I uh, showed you all the simulated games and all that, uh, opposed to the second season. I spent a lot on it. I spent a lot of time on this one, but I'm so happy with how it ended. This was this was absolutely amazing. We did end up yeah, the squad was good enough to win. In the in the Premier League as well, and I think it's a fair indication because I want the strength to be the way we built this squad through our scouts, to the scouts to play a part as well. This is how I want to do my style of rebuild videos, anyway, guys. Uh, to yeah, squad rebuilding. That's what I abs absolutely love doing in career mode. So I want to do more like these, but I want you to get in the comments how you'd love to see them presented. Because the length of the first season is probably going to be too long if I'm going to be doing a team with not as, mu as much money as Chelsea. I don't want to just do big teams all the time. I want some maybe I can do over four or five seasons and make it a really, really big video. It could end up being a similar length. Similar video length, but yeah, actually the the seasons do a bit shorter. So yeah, you probably wouldn't see it, want to see them as long as the first season, but hey, it was a nice way to introduce it. And would you like to see the length more like yeah the second season? So let me know anyway, guys. Uh, make sure you do leave a like on the video. I appreciate the support, especially if you're watching to the very end, the last 30 seconds, the last 30 seconds of this video. Uh, appreciate you guys so much. Appreciate you guys so much. I hope you. Uh, I love to see your thoughts. 
leave your thoughts on how much you enjoyed this or just all your thoughts uh, on the video because it was a re it's an insanely long one <laughs> it's just, it was a really really long one to record and edit uh, for this commentary is 100% straight as well there's like one hour 13 minutes exactly so hope you enjoyed it leave a massive thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one